Alright, so it's about time that I finally get this video out since I've been teasing it for a while over on my Twitter, which you can follow in the description below. Anyway, if you don't know, G Fuel, the company you may know for, you know, actually being everywhere in gaming for their energy formula, which is powder base that you put into water and into a shaker if you have one and, you know, shake it up. Yeah, yeah them. So they, have, they, they made a new product a couple of months ago, which is the normal flavor based drink but just now instead of being in the powder base it's in a can so if you don't know Mountain Dew they also have a drink in the same category and being targeted to gamers and you know it's in a can so this is the Mountain Dew Game Fuel versus G Fuel in a can video now before I start this I just want to tell everyone that I'm not affiliated with either companies so these opinions are my own and I'm not being paid to say any of this or yeah, you get the point. I'm not being paid, and, you know, there's nothing that's going to hurt me by seeing this. So, start this off, I want to start off with flavor, because that's probably the most important thing to everyone, especially me. So, I'm going to try and get my first reaction of G Fuel in the can into this video, since I've recorded it. Just, it's on my phone, and, you know, for some reason, my computer doesn't like getting video from my phone over to the computer well. So, if it's not in there, then you won't see it, but if it is, you'll see it right now. So, to put this short in, like, if in case the video didn't work, it, to put this short, basically, I tried, uh, it was Faceberry, and, you know, I just opened it, tasted it, and, you know, basically what I said was that it had, it had that very G Fuel taste to it, but it also had a very bitter taste, in my opinion, to it. Now, I have all of them besides Rainbow Sherbert, and, you know, the ones I couldn't finish were blue ice that's the one i'm looking for and the only one that i finished all the way through was Faceberry, which isn't that great of flavor and powder form in my opinion everyone says it's great i don't like it that much so who knows but it's kind of interesting since the rest were pretty bad not gonna lie so blue ice has that somewhat of a blue ice flavor but it was just bad overall and the aftertaste made it even worse so as i just said i didn't even finish that i had like almost 75 percent of the can left sour cherry was pretty good and, you know, when I first tried it, the only thing that ruined it for me was the aftertaste because it was just like a bitter, you know, something that just did not taste good. But the initial hit of flavor hitting your mouth, I enjoyed that. That was pretty good. But otherwise, aftertaste wasn't it. Then, you know, the last one I didn't try was Rainbow Sherbert. So I can't have an opinion on that. But Rainbow Sherbert in powder form is pretty trash anyway. So I'm guessing it's not great. So other from that. Phase Ray wasn't an awful, but it also wasn't anything special either. Game Feel. So, Game Feel is a very different story, though. So, I've tried every single Game Feel flavor. And I can say that all of them are basically amazing, besides the Tropical Smash, or whatever it's called, and the original Mountain Dew flavor, which is just the green one. The green and yellow ones, if you look at the can, those two, they're not awful, but they're definitely not great by any means. But, you know, the rest... The rest are pretty good, and, you know, I just like to drink them, and, you know, I I have the new one, the, let's see, it's called the Charged Orange Storm, which is basically orange cream. Didn't think I would like it, still liked it, so, you also have to keep in mind that all these are soda flavors, so they all have that berry type stuff, and it's supposed to taste good, and, you know, it's literally made to taste good, but, yeah, for going on taste, Mountain Dew Game Field takes this one by a long shot, so, no, let's say, let's say you want the healthiest version, because, you know, you're on that health grind. So, Game Fuel, on its nutrition facts, which is the thing on the back of the can that no one looks at, it has 90 calories, which isn't a lot, 200 milligrams of sodium, which is up there, 23 grams of sugar, which is up there. So, you know, it's also not awful by any means, but it's not, like, the greatest thing either. either. So, on that, G Fuel, G Fuel has 0 calories, 70 milligrams of sodium, zero sugar which you know yeah and i'm don't know how much caffeine they have but they I, they both have pretty high caffeine since you know they're energy drinks but yeah so as you can see by what i just said g fuel is obviously the healthier version which you know it's not surprising since g fuel pride themselves in being the healthy energy drink and the good alternative to energy drinks like red bull but you know yeah so they take it in that area so, you know, maybe you're wanting the best quality of the actual can, which a little weird, but hey, to each their own, am I right? So, Game Fuel. Game Fuel is a really nice quality, and, you know, on the can, there's no wrapper on it. By that, I mean, like, there's no, like, shrink wrap that they put on it. It's all just, 
I, I'm, I'm not even sure what you call it. It's like all printed on the can, I guess. You know, they have this thing where instead of the normal lid where you just snap it open like that, they have a resealable top, which it's, it's you know, it's a nice addition, but it's super overkill and there's absolutely no need for it. And, you know, there was the problem where they couldn't have, they were able to supply enough of these because of it. But, you know, they have it. You can open it, take a swig, put it back, close it, put it in the refrigerator for later, later and, you know, the carbonation is still there. So, yeah, pretty good. Now, G Fuel. G Fuel, on the other hand, is a big disappointment. So, the G Fuel can is wrapped, you know, in that shrink wrap, as I was saying. And, you know, it's just a normal gray can on the, on the actual can. It's just wrapped. Then, the wrap on it is really, really bad quality. So, there's a huge seal on it that's very visible. And you can feel it, which is super annoying to hold. Since it's just, like, this big little seal. Like, hold on, can you hear this? That's my finger going off the seal, and you can feel it, and it's annoying. I don't like it. Then, they have the normal the normal lid, which now, I guess it's alright, and I can't really complain too much on it. And, you know, sometimes what I found out is that the cans come damaged, which, you know, I'm not going to give that too much slack, because it could happen from shipping, and, you know, still annoying after all. After all, these it's shipping, okay? You know, USPS or wherever you go by. They're gonna, they're gonna throw it around. There's no doubt. So, I'm not gonna give that one to them. But it would be nice if they, like, protected them better in the shipping. So, they didn't come dented and all that. But, hey, it's wherever it is. So, after all these, the cans aren't really anything special. Besides just the normal silver can and a really bad shrink wrap. So, I'm actually really disappointed in G Fuel's quality in their cans. And, you know, their tubs are pretty nice quality. You know, it's just, I was expecting a lot from G Fuel and they just did not support so no yeah now also it's the can so people really don't care so another important thing price so this is pretty important I would imagine since you know we all kind of need money and it costs money to get this so for this I will use a four pack of G Fuel cans which cost $10.99 but we'll make it just $11 just make it easier so some quick maps later we get $275 for each can now knowing G Fuel from where I buy them or sorry, Game Fuel, not G Fuel. Game Fuel from where I buy them. They're, they're 230 at the gas stations and 250 at the dollar store, which is just Dollar General, the hell they're called, which is the only place that sell them for some reason. But yeah. So either way, they're both cheaper than the G Fuel can. Now, while G Fuel has a pretty fair price, I just don't like how these tiny packs, like four a four pack is $10.99 plus shipping, which is in total almost $20, which it, it just seems way too high and discouraging to buy. Now, of course, this isn't super overkill, and you know, this is also all online, so it's it's very hard to get their market since, you know, for this, you kind of have to make it easy and act, like, easy to get, and you know, they used to have an ad for it, which is like, hey, it's easy to get, it comes to your door, but problem here is that no one wants to wait a couple days for their energy drinks, okay, and you know, they, there only has one place that actually has the cans, which is some gas station in New York, and that's the only one. So, unless if you're that 1% that lives there, then, you know, good for you. But, hey, if you're that 99% of other people that don't live near that gas station, you're going to you're gonna find this pretty useless. Since, you know, let's see, let's say you buy expedited shipping or whatever it's called, and, you know, you get in two days. So, you have to wait two days to get four cans of your G Fuel versus Game Fuel. Where I know at least five different places places to get them across the town, I guess. I mean, two of them are close by and the easiest to get, but there's a couple more that have them a little further away. So, with this, I will give them the benefit of the doubt since I know Game Fuel is owned by Pepsi, which, you know, they own Mountain Dew, so it just adds up. And they have ways to get it mass-produced and out everywhere. And, you know, G Fuel is a relatively, uh, it's a pretty small company. I mean, you could argue that they're big, and yes, they're big. But when you put them up to all their other big competition, they're pretty small. So, you know, to them, they don't have much to compete with in this market since I would imagine they don't have the biggest places to put everywhere. But again, they also need to find ways to get this product out to more places so people can get it easier and just boost sales. All right. That's I would imagine that's one of their main concerns right now. But again, I don't work for them, so I don't know. So problem here is for me is that why would I pay over X amount? And wait three to seven days for these cans when I could get in my car, go down the street, get some game fuel for cheaper and faster all within an hour. And, you know, I just have it there. So it just makes sense to get the game fuel. But then again, 
It's a small company, and I'll give them ben the benefit of the doubt since, you know, small, they can't really mass produce as much. That's why they sell out almost instantly. But again, in general, they should probably get on top of that, in my opinion. So, going on, here are my final thoughts on the actual can. So, in the end, I like the Phase Ray G Fuel can to a very certain extent. And the rest are, in my opinion, trash besides Rainbow Sherbert because I have not tried that. And I would imagine they would put out more flavors in time because you can't just rely on four flavors overall. It's just not going to work. So, with that, if you offer me if you offer me G Fuel, I'm definitely not going to say no. I mean, if you offer me something else like, I don't know, like a Red Bull, I'm going to take the Red Bull over G Fuel in the can. But, yeah, if you just give me a G Fuel and that's all you have, I'm definitely going to take it since it's not awful awful it's still somewhat palatable but yeah now game fuel on the other hand is still really good and i still buy it to this day so can't go wrong there now don't get that wrong that doesn't mean i buy it every day and drink it every day it's like maybe sometimes i'll get like a couple monthly and just go on but yeah so all in all in my opinion game fuel is much better in almost every way besides the health which is this the nutrition fact so no that's there remember again i'm not affiliated with any of these companies so i can have this opinion you might not like it you might like it i don't know i personally don't care either these are my opinions i'm just saying game field just have it on top right now they have the better can the better flavor the better price the more easable is that word easable the better easy access to get them and you know it, it just adds up for them all g fuel has going for them is the better health but at that point if i'm looking for health i'll just drink water which is yeah so G Fuel, while I love you and you you make some great products, I the can needs some working on. And, you know, again, it's a very small startup with these cans. They just came out this year. So, you know, give me at least like four years to get them going. Then, then we'll see how this goes. Since once they get into a lot of the stores and they could get it mass produced, then it might be different. Then, again, another thing I didn't point out on the, the wrap of the G Fuel can is that the text on here is really bad. So... There's at least three different fonts on here, which I don't like. And I've seen new G Fuel cans on Electric Shock's Snapchat, I think. Which, if you don't know him, look him up. He's a great YouTuber. But I've seen that they re redid the can design, which it looks better. But right now, these cans look like trash. I'm not going to lie. They don't look good at all. Like, when I see this, they'll go, I don't go, oh, hey, that's a pretty good looking can. I go, ugh, what is that? But yeah, that's about it. Just me ranting about that for a little while. So before I go, just want I want you, the, the viewer, I want you to go in the description and follow Taken as he was the one that supplied me with these cans, which is cool of him since you didn't have to do that and he did it. So I want you all to go gas him up. But other from that, that's been about it. So yeah, see ya.